All right, yeah, we're gonna have to come back here when we have the Seamoth or like the Cyclops or something. Ah, 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 get me out of here. What's up, guys? It's the Couch Potato here, and welcome back to Subnautica. That's right, you guys, we are back in Subnautica today, and man, oh man, I am literally recording this like 10 minutes after the last episode because I can't get enough of this game, you know? It feels so good to be back in Subnautica and back under the waves and in this alien planet. Go ahead and catch this Gary Fish because I can. Come back. Come back here, Gary Fish. I want to scan you. Come here. I got this handy-dandy little scan- where did he go? Oh, there he is. Got this handy-dandy little scanner. Oh, there we go. I got him. So the scanner allows you to scan all sorts of stuff, as a scanner would do. I just said scan like ten different times. What is this? What is this? I can pick that up. Oh, now you have caught my curiosity, Subnautica. I'll go ahead and drop the salt. Oh, it's big, whatever it is. Um... You know what? We need to- we need a base. We need to get a base going because I want to find- I want to- I want to store all this stuff because I don't want to keep dropping things to, uh, to keep, like, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so we need to get a base going, guys. I've been trying to find silver deposits and stuff like- Vending machine? What the crap? Are you serious? They put a vending machine in this game? <laughs> That's awesome. I wonder if you have to find multiple ones. Of oxygen remain. Nope. You just have to scan that one vending machine and then you unlock the vending machine. I wonder if you can use it. That'd be super cool. Dude, if you can use a vending machine in this game, that's going to be amazingly awesome. But yeah, as I was saying, I have to got to find silver because if we can find silver ore, then we can go back to our rescue pod and we can build the habitat builder. And when we build the Habitat Builder, oh god, those are sand sharks. When we build the Habitat Builder, then we have all the things. We have access to building habitats, we have access to building all sorts of awesome things. What is- oh, that's a Seamoth Fragment! Oh, you guys! Oh, that's a big step. Oh, that's a big step. Three more, or two more. Well, I can math. I can math. Wow. Oh, that's a big, 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 big step. Big, what's a step? All right, what's this? Is this a, nope, that's another piece of metal. All right, what do we got here? That's titanium. All right, but yeah. So once we get the habitat builder online, we can then build our, our base. We can get a uh, fabricator going and we can get all sorts of good stuff going. That's salt, but I got to find it first because it's, it's a struggle, guys. I'm trying to find where it's at. So, I tell you what. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to swim around for a little bit. I'm going to find this silver. And I'm going to... Oh, seconds. I'm not going to drown. I'll tell you that much. And I'm going to go ahead and get that builder set up. And I'll bring you guys back in when we're going to build the base. All right, you guys. So, check it out. I got the habitat builder built. That's a mouthful. Habitat builder built. And now we can build foundations, and we can build all sorts of stuff. Now, let me see how much titanium we've got. All right, now I should probably build... Wait a second. Wait a second. Do they not give you the building pieces anymore? No freaking way. They don't give you the multi-purpose room anymore. What? That is... That's shocking. Okay. So how do we get the freaking multi-purpose room? How do they expect us to survive? That's interesting. That's very interesting. I wonder if you have to find... If you gotta, if you have to go to like the, um, I'm, I actually don't even know. Unless I'm not reading that right. There's no multi-purpose room. You don't, you don't see a multi-purpose room in there, do you? Not in solar panels, not in there. Nope, there's nothing there. That is very interesting. Wow. That's kind of baffling. Um. Huh. Okay. 
Well then, uh, plan B, I guess? We're gonna go and look for something to build with. Or something to build, I suppose. Oh, there's sand sharks here. That's not good. Well, I guess we're gonna have to be on the defensive at home. Which, I mean, eh, it's whatever. You know how I like danger. I'm still kind of baffled that you can't use the multi-purpose rooms to, like, begin with. That's really interesting. You know, I wonder if you have to find, like, the cave entrances and scan the old bases. Because in this game, there are old bases underwater and stuff like that. Well, obviously, they're underwater. The whole game's underwater. But they're, like, deep in caves and caverns and stuff like that. I wonder if that's where you have to find the multi-purpose room. That's really interesting. Because before, you had access to pretty much all the building materials. You just had to... You just kind of had to unlock the, uh, or kind of had to build the, uh, the habitat builder. That's interesting. Hmm. The plot thickens. What are you? Are you a giant salt deposit? No, what are you? What are you? This is new. Do I knife it? No, I can't break it. What is that stuff? I don't know. It looks like it's, like, not breakable. Oh, there's a wreck here, guys. Ooh, we just found a wreck. Wrecks always contain good stuff. Either around them or in them. The problem is, is you normally need... You need something to get inside of it. Caution. 30 seconds Crap. Of oxygen remaining. I might need to build like a bunch more freaking oxygen tanks. Well, we might have to we might have to hunker down at Oh, hello. What are you doing so close to the surface? Holy god. What is a reef back doing so close to the surface? Holy crap. Can I go ahead and scan you, big guy? Yeah. Can I get a quick scan job on you? These things are so awesome. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you are a terrifying creature. That is for sure. And it is so dark. Oh my god. Pucker City. Alright, let's find that wreck again. I apologize for it being so freaking dark. Okay, there's a sand shark. Alright, looks like this is a way in. Oh, there's a PDA right there. And there's a light. We can scan this. The floodlight. That's a buildable item. It's gonna take forever. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Alright, we got the floodlight. That's good. Let me go ahead and pick up this PDA. I saw something else over here that could be scanned. Oh, we got the chair. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. My oxygen is draining faster because I'm at 100 meters. Okay. We gotta leave, we gotta leave. Oh, crap. Get out. Oh, crap. Replace, replace. Go, go, go. Oh, no, 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 no. He's gonna start blacking out. I'm gonna start blacking out. Oh, I made it. Oh, okay, that was a little bit too close for comfort. No, 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 no. I do not like doing that. Wow, this wreck is down there. What is this? What are you? You are beautiful. What is that rogue? Rogue cradle. Okay, or rouge cradle. However you want to pronounce that. Okay, interesting. I think that's a plant, I want to say. Okay, these sand sharks are giving me anxiety. What is this? God, there's so much stuff. Okay, I can scan that. What just touched me? That's a bar table. What? That's new. How cool is all this stuff? All right, we got the bar table. All right, let's see what else is down here. All right, we're going to go back inside of the wreck. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy frames. What just happened? 
Okay. We're, we might have to come back here when we have the Seamoth or something like that, because this... This is Danger City. Plus, I'm almost dehydrated, plus the frame rate is, oh my god, atrocious. Caution. Can I open this door? Of no, remaining. that's why it says locked. Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to come back here when we have the Seamoth or, like, the Cyclops or something. Ah, 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 get me out of here. Okay, yeah, because one, I'm dying of dehydration, and two, I don't have near the equipment I need to sufficiently explore the depths, and I'm gonna drown. Oh, crap. Inky blackness. Nailed it. Got it. Okay, I tell you what. I'm gonna swim back to Life Pod 6. I'm gonna break down that those two platforms that I just crafted, and uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of research about where to find the the building materials, because that's still baffling me. And uh, then I'll bring you guys back in. Alright, you guys. So, I decided to do this. Uh, so, I did a little bit of research, and apparently the multipurpose room, which is just a big room, is now indeed a blueprint. Which I find kind of interesting. I don't know why they did that. But, you know, I'm not going to hold it against them. Uh, they thought of it, made it a made it an idea and made it a reality you know I'm not gonna hold it against him uh, and so now we have to resort to making a mini base out of corridors and stuff like that so we're gonna make it work though uh, but I'm trying to decide if I want to make it out of long corridors like this or if I want to make it out of like that and make it where it's got like multiple stuff like this where it can branch off and go like this way and then like that way and stuff like that but I don't know but I just wanted to bring you guys in and tell you that but I'm pretty sure this is what we're gonna do I think I'm actually gonna keep it like this we're gonna keep this design and we're gonna keep it like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put a hatch frame on it and we can go ahead and go inside of it but we need power luckily I found the solar panel blueprint and so you can put solar panels on top of things now. So check this out. Now, unfortunately, it is nighttime. So it's not going to do us any good at nighttime. But, let's see. I need a couple more quartz. But what the solar panel will do is it will serve as kind of a benchmark for us to get more power. Because there's a lot of ways to... Oh, God. What is that noise? Holy crap. Oh, holy God. Um, there's a lot of ways to get power in this game. There's, um, I mean, there's biofuel reactors, there's nuclear reactors, there's solar panels, there's thermal reactors, there's all sorts of stuff in this game to generate power. And so, I've got a few ideas that I could use for power once we get the blueprints and stuff like that. That looks amazing. And it looks super close, holy crap. But we gotta get there first. The problem is finding all of the blueprints. So it's gonna take some research on my end. It's gonna take some studying up uh, on my end as well. But we'll get there. I don't think power is on yet. Nope. Just because it's it's nighttime, so no no sunlight has gotten in yet. But as soon as the sun starts to rise, and we're gonna put a couple more on there. As soon as the sun starts to rise, it'll start to generate power in our little corridor base. Um, but the gist of it is, is we want, we, I'm not going to put a fabricator in this just because we have a fabricator in the life pod right there. So there's no need to waste the materials to build another one. So down here is basically just going to be storage. It's going to be kind of just our first base, you know. It's going to be just so that we can get on our feet, maybe build a seamoth, and maybe we can get things going, you know. So that's going to be, that's going to be the main thing. Let's see, what do we need to build a light? We need a battery and titanium. Do I have... I could probably do that. Uh, since we're not going to use the fabricator down here, I could probably build a light. I just need copper. Can't see anything. So yeah, that's what it'll look like. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing. Actually, you know what? It looks pretty neat. You know, I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty dang cool. As just kind of like a beginning base. There it is. Power is restored to our Power little restored. base. All primary systems online. I love that. That makes me feel so official. Ten of and so now check it out. We got ourselves a little, a little base. 
It's nothing much, but power is slowly starting to come in, and I think I might add, I think I might add solar panels all along the top of this, just so that we've got power going to it. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a light. That way at night I can just see around and stuff like that. But I need to get some copper, because uh, I don't think I have any. But I have noticed that the frame rate is definitely not the best. Now the frame rate had problems before and I I understand the game is preview it's Xbox preview so it's gonna have problems but it's definitely it definitely needs improvement which I'm sure they're working as hard as they can to do that and hats off to them for even being able to do this but um, but yeah so I'm gonna see if I can't get some copper and do that but I think that's actually gonna do it for today's episode guys I know the first few episodes of this have been kind of short but there's really not a whole lot to do in the beginning because we're kind of getting on our feet we're kind of getting started but as the episodes go on and as the series goes on trust me there's going to be a hell of a lot more going on we're finally going to get into the seamoth legitimately we're going to get into the cyclops legitimately we're going to get into the prawn suit that's going to be crazy there's even more stuff to see in the aurora so I'm super excited to see it, and I hope you guys are too. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.